Hey there, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris. I hope you're doing good. Today, I want to do a quick and simple review of my own personal experience of these two guys here. Uh, they are both micro clutch. I got the L plate and the I plate. So, depending on which camera you're gonna have, you're gonna be using either one or the other. The way this works is pretty straightforward and it was explained very easily and thoroughly on the Peak Design website, which I invite you to go check out. But basically you have this plate. So this is the L plate. As you can see, it's like an L shaped and you have the I plate. And the way it works is simply you put this under your camera. There's a little tool that's included like so, it's magnetic, it has a little simple way to attach the screw underneath and all you have to do after that is putting this on the little triangle that holds on the side of your camera and you're good to go. Now the whole concept is to have it, you know, comfortably in your hand so that you can take your photos, in this case with a little Fuji X100 series camera and in case you drop it, it stays in your hand. So that is the base reason and uh, purpose of this little micro clutch. I personally find it to be okay when you're using specifically small cameras. And what I mean by that is, for example, a Q series camera, an XE from Fujifilm, an X100 series from Fuji, small cameras like that. Obviously, you're not gonna use this on the Leica SL2, SL2S, because the, the, the grip is huge and it holds really well in your hand. I tried, even though they say not to do it, and yeah, you cannot and you should not do it. On the pro sides, I think it, it can make it easier for you guys to, you know, hold your camera in your hand and uh, make it comfortable. I tried the L mount and the I mount on my Fuji X-T2 and X-T3. They suggest to use the the eye plate for that, and I didn't find it to be comfortable to shoot with. The reason for that is when I tried to press the shutter button, for example, on the X-T3, I have a little shutter button here, and when I try to go up like so, it limits me, and I cannot, I really cannot reach the shutter comfortably, unless I shoot with my thumb, which I naturally don't do, unless you're shooting and holding your camera like so, but other than that, I would not suggest it for either the X-T2 or the X-T3 that I have right here. So this really narrows it down to smaller cameras. Now I have small hands. I don't know if that's a factor maybe in the fact that, you know, it, it's, it's more comfortable, uh, probably without. I find it comfortable to use with an X100 camera. Okay. I have to say very comfortable. I have access, full access to everything basically. And when you shoot, you see it's comfortable. Um, my little pinky here. It sits in the nothingness and you can see how tight I put it here. It's very, very, very tight. You can pretty much not, pre pretty much can go tighter than that. And, um, and yeah, it's true. They advertise that you can change all the settings on your camera and you can actually do so. You see, I can change my aperture, my ISO, um, the ex expo compensation. You know, you can pretty much access every single setting of your camera in the back here. You have the drive, the menu, the play button, comfortable, easy, simple. It works great, okay? In a nutshell, it is a great system. That's, that's about all I'm gonna say. Now, on the con side, um, I find this plate to be a little annoying. For example, if you want to access, let's say, your battery, you have to every time unscrew, even though you have the tool here magnetically, you still have to unscrew, pull it up, take it out, access your, your your battery or USD card and put it back each time. When you put it on a surface, it tends to, oh, it kind of sits well on the X, X100 series, but if you have something that's a little bit more front heavy, it will tend to tilt forward and not stay in place. That's another thing that to me is not the best. This moves so you can put it out of the way if you have anything to access on the side like I have here. And uh, yeah. That's about it in terms of pros and cons. I think it's a very simple um, design, very simple product. I'm not gonna make a review much longer than this because there isn't much else to say. Now, should you actually buy this? That's, that's a valid question that you might have. And my answer is if you're someone that is scared to drop his camera, yes, you should. Or if you have a camera that's very, uh, you know, s square, you know, such as an M, a Q, an X100 series, an XE4, and so forth, then yes. But if you don't like to be, you know, restrained, I would call it, and limited to being like this, then I would go rather with the cuff, 
from Peak Design. I love their cuff. It's something that I always put here. I can use it with all of my cameras, including my SL2S. It's always on it. So in case anything happens, you don't drop your camera. Uh, it's simple to put on. It can stay on your wrist and so forth. So yeah, that's that. I think this really li it's limited to people that have small cameras. And the L mount, I almost think it defeats the purpose of why you would use a micro clutch because it's made for small cameras that don't have a good grip and that you're scared to drop. And again, other than that, just use the cuff or use the, you know, the, the, the normal clutch that uh, will give you more stability and will be easier to grip and to take it in your hands. There, I hope I answered the questions you had. If you have any other question about this Peak Design Micro Clutch, write it down in the comment section below. I'll answer it as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and I see you in the next one. Cheers.